What prompted that after your touchdown? Sometimes you black out on the field. <laughs> in a good way. Uh, I definitely blacked out uh, from a concussion, which isn't a good way. But uh, I looked up in the stands, and in the front row, all I saw was a woman giving me the double bird. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure exactly what came out of my mouth next. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's so good. All my it's effing so life. All my effing life. I own you. I still own you. I, I mean, do. truer words I have never do. been spoken. Show me the lie. All facts. Right. No cap. It's I so mean, cold. Just that was such a it's so thing of beauty. And what I, I love so so many things about this, as I'm sure you it's do. It's so good. Starting with Starting with, um, as, as honest and transparent as Aaron Rodgers is, and especially at this point when he has no Fs to give about his relationship with right. the Packers, right? Um, that's the type of thing that if asked about it in a press conference, if asked about its success against the Bears, and for that matter, the rest of the division, he'd probably downplay it, maybe give some cliche answer to get him in that moment when his true feelings came out about how little respect he has for that organization was just absolutely oh, so beautiful. Good. And the other part I like, and, and just to just to speak to this dominance, 22 and 5, I believe the record is Rogers against the Bears. Uh, but also he's thrown 26 straight touchdowns without an interception against NFC North opponents. 26 touchdown passes since his last pick against NFC North opponents. So Michael, I just want to say this. This just lets me further know he ain't going nowhere. He's having too much fun owning the rest of that division and including Chicago because you know, but Chicago you can trade Texas. it to Denver. You got to try to like deal with Patrick Mahomes and Justin Herbert. You know what I mean? There's, there's no guarantees anywhere. Look at those else. numbers. Stop Tom Brady and in the NFC South. Look, Look at I mean, numbers. 57 and 12. 57 touchdowns to 12 picks over That's the course enough. of that 22 and 5 record, including playoffs. I mean, apps, damn right he owns the Bears. He owns the entire division. None of them look like they're any closer to closing the gap at quarterback with the Green Bay Packers that they've had, not just during Rodgers' tenure, but Brett Favre preceding him. You went in Chicago for a, for a cup of coffee. You had a cup of yeah. coffee in Chicago. Yeah, he hit him where it hurts. Did he not? That's it. Yeah, yes, he did. And you know, it's one of those great things, Mike. When you go at somebody and they don't have a cup, there's nothing they can say. Well, 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 uh, we own you. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. Well, uh, 1985. So what? Who are you, Freddie Gibbs? We don't know about 1985. Look, that doesn't, that doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. There's nothing they can say. Look at you with the Freddie There's Gibbs nothing reference. They can say. Oh, I'll I, I put you on. Huh? I'll put you, you like on. It? <laughs> Look at you with the Freddie Gibbs shout out. I love it. I love it. <laughs> 1985. I traveled oh, with man. Michael Jordan. I traveled with a cocaine circus. Anyway, what you, circus. Don't, finish, don't, yeah. don't get on track. Keep cooking. Keep cooking. Keep cooking. All right. Anyway, look. You, you're right. That is that rivalry is so great. Um, you know, going back, I mean, I think it's one of the uh, yeah, three, four best rivalries in sports. And at every rivalry, it has its ebbs and flows, peaks and valleys, whatever you want to say. But you know, think about it. You had George Hallis and Vince Lombardi, kind of knocking heads in the same division. You had Dick Buckus. and, and, and Ray Nitschke, both you know, like prototype middle linebackers in the same division. You had all this stuff. But now I, I think Aaron Rodgers knows, even though Chicago is not there, it's not on their level. I think he knows that it's just this. It just it's just a little something extra when you beat the Bears. And you know what's even sadder for Chicago? If I don't even go back that far, just start with hell. hell forget about forget about Brett Favre. Go back before Brett Favre. Go go Don uh, Mikowski. Uh, Magic if you man. go. The magic man to now. I don't think the Bears have had a quarterback better than Magic. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jay Cutler. 
I think they've had a quarterback better than Magic, better than Favre, and better than Rodgers, right? Like, not even Magic. Y'all ain't got nobody that good. Sorry, Jim McMahon. Sorry, Jay Cutler. So, yeah, this is this is great. When and he, I, it, what's even better, my Mike, fault, Mike? When he gets up and ah. oh yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is all my life. You you do not get the Rogers right life. here. You do not get the Rogers right in Chicago. <laughs> all my life. But he's like, he, man, so he said I came out the and womb owning you. Okay, I'm, oh, I, I was. That's what I'm saying. That's what's so ridiculous. About owning it. you in mind. That's what's so ridiculous about it that when you're telling the truth, it's okay to exaggerate and be absurd. Like my entire yeah. life, even when I wasn't thinking about y'all, I owned y'all. I was in California. <laughs> I'm a California kid. I wasn't even thinking about Chicago. But my, my density hey, is poppy to you. <laughs> many things, many things got me uh, got me out of Chicago for my cup of coffee, as you say, was a cup of a cup of coffee, 29 columns. Uh, out of those 29 columns, two were written on the Blackhawks. Shout out. I was, I, was, I was doing a hockey thing. Hockey. I was writing hockey even back in the day. But one of the things that got me out of there was a Bears-Packers game in Lambeau Field. And Jim Miller was the quarterback of the Bears. And uh, Brett Favre still quarterbacking the Packers. The Packers win the game. Bears, that was their magical 13-3 and season. Lost to uh, the Eagles in the playoffs. Donovan McNabb coming back home to win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I wrote mm -hmm. after they lost that game. I said, look, let's just break it down. Packers is just a better team. I, now listen, not the most poetic column I've ever written. Uh, not really the deepest column I've ever written. It was pretty obvious. Oh, they were mad. Oh, they were mad. Don't, don't say that. Don't come to the Chicago Tribune. Don't write that the Chicago Hit Bears are hollering. not better than the Packers. And that was it. See you later. I think that may have been like number 26 out of 29. After that, yeah. I lost the room. If I even had the room, you, you weren't going. But you couldn't. You couldn't stay somewhere where they the couldn't room, handle right truth. But, but for real. But you see where I'm coming from? Like, again, I know, Gudakuns and Murphy and and everything pissed him off last year. But they seem to have put that behind them, if or at minimum compartmentalized to the tune of five straight wins since that opening defeat. I'm going to come back to that in a second. But and who's to say how the season is going to end? I know that's your Super Bowl team. You have, you have the Packers beating team. the Browns in the Super Bowl before the season. I, I, even before the yeah. season started, I'm like, he's not going anywhere. He's having too much fun. It's too much fun owning that division, okay? Provided Devontae Adams sticks around, like, the grass is not going to be greener on the other side. I mean, I think Brady, not only did Brady empower quarterbacks like Deshaun and, and you know, Russell and, and, and Rodgers and all these quarterbacks to quote unquote, take their destiny in their own hands. He also misled them to make it feel like it's that easy. Like it's that simple. You change teams, you win a Super Bowl, right? It's like I, I just like I said all off season, I don't see Denver or anywhere else giving them a better chance to win. As much as he improves their chances when he goes there, I don't see anybody else giving him a better chance to win because much like Brady had for all those years in the AFC East, he has a one-way ticket to a home playoff game playing in that division. Right. Justin Fields, maybe he's the guy in Chicago. Kirk Cousins has his moments. Detroit, we know what they're going through. Like, he owns the entire division, not just Chicago. He's, why would he leave? And, and you, you, you bring up the point of fun. It's clear. It's clear that his problem, if he has a problem, still, his problem with the Green Bay Packers has nothing to do with the coaching staff, has nothing to do with the guys he's balling out with. He's having a great time. You can just see it. It's not fake. Just like that, that put down of the Bears. He's been thinking about it for a long time, but it just kind of spilled out. It's, or, yeah, it, yeah, it's an organic thing. And look, hey Mike, ain't like they put a gun to his head and told him to come back, right? He didn't have to. He didn't have to. Well done. Aha! Uh -huh. hey, didn't have to come back. That. Hey, hey, he wanted. He ultimately he did what he wanted to do. He did what he had to do. You did what you had to do, right? He did what he had to do, and what he had to do uh, to keep playing at that level 
is go back to the Packers. And uh, by the way, Mike, quiet as this kept. Let's just say, very quiet. We're talking about Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, how he's giving him a chance to win. I know quarterbacks make coaches and quarterbacks make receivers more than coaches make quarterbacks and receivers make quarterbacks. I understand that. But Matt LaFleur, 31 and 7 in his coaching career, 31 and 7. Not for bad. the Packers. I don't know if he still wants to leave town after this. Maybe he's making LaFleur, but it's all working. It all looks good. Right. He hasn't complained about the offense. Right. Why have to this, start that process? This little over combination, again? this, this little partnership. Works. Let me tell you about that seventh start. loss real quick. I'm glad both of us had sense enough, sense enough not to overreact to week one against New Orleans. Not to start making grand proclamations He's about not into what it said it. about. Look at his face. Exactly. Yeah, we weren't reading body Look language because since then they've won yeah. five in a row. Hey, thanks for watching, brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.